What's good everybody, it is your boy Super Saiyan Kai back with another Xenoverse 2 DLC 9 video for you guys. We have more screenshots of Rubrian. Yesterday we got a screen a couple screenshots of her um of some of her skills. Today we have some other screenshots that are also showing some different skills that we did not see showcased yesterday at the same time. Now, a couple things I do want to mention before we get into this video. First and foremost, it may not sound like it as of right now because I've been taking a lot of medicine, my nose is kind of clear up and my head doesn't really hurt but your boy has been getting some kind of sinus infection or head cold something going on right now so if i miss a daily upload or something like that and you guys have a day where i do not upload that is why secondly i want to announce sub saturday guys this upcoming sub saturday so many people are literally asking for this still like ever. you guys really really do enjoy the photo mode sub saturday and it's like i cannot deny that request of so many people wanting it and so many people wanting to showcase and share more photo mode photos that you guys have so be sure to send those to the email twitter or um discord all linked down below in the description and the last thing i want to say really quickly guys actually i'm going to talk about why i dislike riverine at the end of the video for those who are very interested in it i will talk about that at the end because i'm getting a lot of questions about that as well but let's jump into these screenshots as you see on the screen right here this is one that's basically showing the cac and riverine in photo mode i believe this is one of her attacks probably the pretty cannon or something along those lines that they're about to do do and obviously they're just sharing the same pose right here do not take this as oh we can pose now in photo mode or anything like that no that is not the case this right here i'm assuming is the pretty cannon move and then they added a bunch of little side things in there and i'll tell you this right here right now you guys's photo mode photos is way better than this just saying you guys make some absolute heat, absolute heat so be sure to send that heat again to the email twitter or discord down below in the description now taking a look at the next screenshot guys right here is her pretty cannon move this is one of her super attacks again the same thing i said really when i saw it on the scan man it looks like the the aoe of this move is going to be kind of massive like it's going to have a wide range but at the same time i'm very curious to see how fast or slow it is because that's really what is important here is to see whether or not this move will actually be able to work off of knockaways knockdown attacks things of or uh combos things of that nature will determine how good and useful this move is or not and of course the damage of it at the same time but again her moves as far as the female cac's go can be very very you know fairly dope i'm not gonna lie to you like i do not like her as a character again i'm gonna explain that at the end of this video but at the same time i cannot deny that her moves are some moves that would be fairly cool to see on some female cac's you can do some dope things as far as a build goes and photo mode goes and things along those lines so again i do think that is that her moves i'm not gonna lie are fairly dope for the cac still don't like her as a character though now moving on to the next move right here i believe this is her formation this is a move that gives her some kind of boost um this is one of her super attacks as well i believe so i'm not sure 100 percent sure but i believe this is one of her super attacks um that formation move not the ultimate where she like gets her key and stamina back or anything like that i believe this is the one that is just a super where she gets some kind of boost do not know the exact boost that she gets or your cac will be able to get with this move right here but again for the most part another dope fairly dope looking move as far as you know being used on a cac like that is a fairly different animation than we've had for any other pose in the game and something that is very relatable to a female cac at the same time so again her moves just look fairly dope for the females but moving on to the next move or the next screenshot that we got guys this is the last new screenshot that we have of rubriane um i believe this is the last hd screenshot we'll probably get and the last um gameplay screenshot we'll probably get until we get either gameplay trailers for these characters or maybe they send rhyme and syriax out to do a stream or something like that but again this move right here i believe this is the move where she actually gets that key and stamina regen back and supposedly she takes on several poses this may be one of the poses like the startup of the move or something along those lines don't know how the move is exactly going to work how long it's going to take because that's really what's going to determine whether this move is actually usable or not whether this move is op kind of um op slash broken or not because if you can just use this move like say a simple knockaway attack and it's fast enough to get it off 
and use it after that and get your key and stamina back it will be a bit op but i'm very very curious to see how this move is actually working in the game as far as how long it takes to start up how long the move how many poses and just how much how op it can be because it just sounds dumb op like full key and stamina back imagine only having one bar or two bars of stamina and your cac is like a nine or ten bar character and you just use that all after a simple knockaway attack that again will be fairly op if you are able to use it in that way but again those are all the new screenshots that we did get of rubrian we still have um some other screenshots from yesterday that i'm gonna showcase as well because these are her other moves like basically every move was showcased through the screenshots that we got in total but again like i told you guys at the end of this video i'm gonna explain why i truly do not like reviewing because people are asking down below in the comments it's like they're confused and stuff like that and then some people are upset at the same time and i i honestly said in yesterday's video i respect you guys' opinion everybody's opinion who actually wants this character i respect you guys' opinion and understand that some people do want her but at the same time you guys also have to understand that you know there's a lot of people who don't want her and don't like her and got to respect our opinion at the same time now the reason i really do not like this character first and foremost to me out of the three she is the she's just the wackest like the other two first and foremost the other two females from the universe 11 that were with her they were just better in my opinion their transformations were better their their moves were cooler like i just did not like rib rain in any way shape or form when it came to her design um her actual character like i said to me the other two were actually better as far as characters and their design goes and then the major major issue that i think everybody has with ribri ain that does not like her is the amount of screen time first and foremost that she got over m most characters within dragon ball super in that tournament much more prominent characters did not get nearly the amount of screen time that Ribrian did and then also she always seemed to have scenes that were interrupting big fights or big moments within the, in the anime like she would out of nowhere get an episode when something epic would be expected to be going down and then you just see this you know preview about love and all this other stuff so again I, I just really do not like her for those reasons i do not like her design like i said her transformation in my opinion is definitely the wackest out of the three she took up way too much screen time and interrupted way too many lit scenes for me to really actually like this character and i i know that's a, the reason a lot of other people do not like this character at the same time so again man i just wanted to mention that really quickly because uh, like i said a lot of people are either kind of butthurt in the comments that i've been throwing side jabs and things like that at ribriane or they just don't understand why i do not like this character so again i wanted to explain that really quickly but all in all man like i said through this video you guys got to look at a bunch of her different skills like i showcased every single screenshot I still have some screenshots as you guys see going on in the background for you guys these are literally every single gameplay screenshot that we got from ribrian my conclusion about this character as of right now is honestly that they could have made her probably one of the better dlc characters and it seems that they put the most effort out of any dlc character into this one right here just like i said based off a couple things like i've mentioned in past videos first and foremost she has six different exclusive moves to herself that's something we've never seen with a character she has some moves that operate in ways that we've never seen like how her pretty cannon seems to link and power up her ultimate move i forget the name of her ultimate move the one that does damage not the one that gives you key and stamina back and then she also has that other ultimate that is completely different than anybody else's as well that also gives you key and um that gives you that full key and stamina back so she just has some unique things she has a whole bunch of moves six moves the most possible so based off those things it just seems like i said they put a lot of thought into her with the uniqueness and then they also put a lot of effort into her with the amount of skills that they gave her at the same time now the shining i guess the the silver lining i guess you could say in this is that we're also getting all these skills most likely for our cac unless they pull some nonsense like they did with ultra instinct goku but i do not see that happening with this character right here because this 
DLC pack only has two characters and there only has so many new moves between these two characters as opposed to that one that brought four brand new characters and of course there were more new moves to go around with that DLC pack to where if they didn't give us someone like UI Goku's we would still be getting a lot if we do not get her skills in DLC pack 9 then we will only be getting like three or four brand new skills from Super Saiyan God Vegeta so again that is the silver lining that I'm taking from this DLC the fact that we are getting so many characters but honestly I'm still kind of sad slash bothered that the DLC character that they decided to put the most work into out of every single character we've had up until this point is Ribrian a character that I do not personally like and I know a lot of the American and Europe fan base also does not like but let me know what you guys think about all of her moves the screenshots and stuff like that down below a lot of people were honestly saying that their minds may be changing a little bit on this character because they got to see her moves some of her moves yesterday now you've gotten to look at all of them so what do you guys think completely about her moves and will you be using her moves on your female cac as well let me know all that down below in the comments but as always man thank you guys for watching I hope i did not drag this video out, out a little bit or anything like that again my head is start kind of starting to hurt my thought process is not really there as fully clear right now so I do apologize for that. But till next time, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Really hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope you have a good day. Peace, y'all.